Howdy folks, Buller at 66 here with another Rust video. This time I am on my own server. I went ahead and got one and uh, trying to figure everything out. Uh, it took me a while to figure out how I actually able to make changes on the server. Yeah, I finally did. So I changed it from PvP to PvE so that we can't actually shoot each other as players. At least until we can get some things set up and all that. I've already had people on the server even before I was on it. Uh, I guess they their server was gone or something like that. And Yeah, I had two people on here before I even got on here. So they found it before I did. If it, there's anybody who wants to come to the server, it is called the Boiler Room. So that is how to find it. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to find the road. I already made myself a bow and some arrows, and we are so close to the coast. The road's not here, but I do know there's some buildings up here, which is going to be a radiation area, which also means zombies. Let's see, there's a building right there. I really need it to be... have more light before I start going through here because some of these uh, zombies are black. Totally black. And those ones are slow, which is a good thing. Yeah, there is a road right there, so that's good. I guess I was closer to the road than I thought. I got to that rock in the night. So I'm just waiting for the sun to get up a little higher to where it's not shadowed in this area over here. And I want to go one way or the other on this road. But I'm worried about zombies. These things can take me out quickly. And I really don't want to have to spawn somewhere and not be able to get food right away. Another big building over there. The main objective I am looking for is to find what we call Rad Town. Because that is the area I want to build in. I've gotten fairly good with the bow. Uh, definitely not, you know, spectacular or anything. I want to check these buildings, see if there's any crates. But I'm so worried about zombies right now. I have waited for four days for this server. But the thing that's good about it is they did drop the price of the servers. So even before I got my server, ooh, some gunpowder, even before I got my server, the price went down. I do like that. It only went down four bucks, but four bucks is four bucks, man. I don't know where the other two people are that's on the server. It would be nice to find something really good. There we go, rad pills. Makes a difference. Because I think right up there, where all those tanks are, I think that's a fairly high radiation area. So red pills are a godsend. I don't know whether to head up that way. We get back on the road. Move cautiously. Check that building out straight ahead of me. I think I want to put these red pills down on slot 6 so I can easily take them if the radiation gets too high. I want to take it slow. I could take off running, but 
if you aggro zombies, the ones with red shirts are very, very fast. You can outrun them, but they don't give up, so. And I'm not seeing radiation here at all. Radiation counter is not clicking. A blueprint. P250 blueprint, which means I can now craft a P250 handgun. Which is just a little better than the 9mm, which you already get the ability to make. It's, it doesn't hold as many shells. Now I'm debating going that way. But I'm going to do it. We can sneak. Nice. Um, if I die, you guys get to watch that. Again, just like in my other videos, you get to watch me die a few times. Actually, you did, it's my second video. I don't think I've put that up yet. There's the radiation. Starting. I don't want to come in here too quickly. If I have one zombie on me, no problem. Any more than that, and there's going to be issues. bullets for the 9mm or the P250, that's good. Reds are getting up there kind of quick. Let's go ahead and pop one of those pills, drop it down a little bit. I have seen on other servers people building right here in these areas, which doesn't make sense to me why you would build in a radiation area, but I know why they did it. And if I see that happening on my server, I'm going to wipe it, and people are going to have to start over. What they do is they put their shack down over where one of those places spawn, and the way that those shacks work is you put a door on it, and you're the only one that can open it. So they put a, sh a shack down over where the stuff spawns, and they're the only one that can get it. To me... And probably to anybody else with a brain, that is cheating. So worried about zombies right now. I'm not finding any real good loot, but it's loot nonetheless. I've seen a whole lot of zombies when I first hit daylight. Don't know where they're at now. Another loot box. Radiation pants. I love it. That's going to make the radiation levels go a bit slower. Check and see if there's anything here at the front. No. So like I said, if anybody wants that plays Rust is watching this and they want to come to the server, I'd set for PvE right now. There's a zombie. He's way off in the distance. He's not going to see me. Zombies have real good loot on them. I just don't want to fight a zombie right now. Uh, I want to get myself to what we call Rad Town. And then go ahead and start uh, building close by there. There's a field right behind Red Town. That if it's the same on every server, which a lot of things are, there's going to be a lot of things that spawn there. You got plenty of wood, you got plenty of stones, you got plenty of animals. And that's all the stuff you need to get by. And that's where I want to make it to. But I need to get back to the road and then. Just keep following it until I find Red Town.
and hopefully do all that without getting killed. Um, might as well grab this wood on the way. Get a lot of wood from these wood piles. The uh, first thing you want to make is a stone hatchet. I mean, that's the very first thing. We're going to need five stones and a pretty good batch of wood. And once you have that hatchet, you can very easily kill a pig and get the meat from that. Because with the pig, you can just run right along with them and just keep whacking at them. Very hard to do with the rock you get to start because of how fast they move and how slow that rock strikes. I should be coming up on the road here real soon. I'm just going to grab these resources as I go because they're going to be invaluable. Um, I'm more worried about the rock stones than I am the wood because there's wood everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and uh, respond to this person rather quickly, so you, ain't, you, you won't be able to see what I'm doing, but... Another stone. Had somebody asking me if the server we were on together was available. And I haven't tried to get on that server because I have my own right now. I just got it today, so I am going to be spending a lot of time. There is a lot of zombies over there. That is a very good area for loot. Out where those zombies are, there's lots of boxes, but man, there's a ton of zombies there. I could very easily lose my life. You see all those boxes? I can't. I don't know if you can see them in the video, but there's tons of loot crates out there in that field. But there's also, okay, let me try to count these zombies. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's eight that I can see. There's a loot crate, a couple loot crates right by the road. So I want to, oh, there's another one. That's, what, nine? Whew. Lots of zombies, but also lots of loot. Ooh, there's one I didn't see. He could spot me. One at a time I can take them uh, with the bow. But if they come in, in groves, I cannot. Oh, they just keep coming. There's more, more, more. Let's see if I can get him in one shot. Nope. He's coming now. Oh, I'm gonna die. I keep missing him. All right, I have it went right through him three times. That is not cool. Let's 
So it looks like somebody put a shack up there. That's not cool. I just lost everything I had. Uh, this could be a bit of a process here. I going to come up here and see if there's anything in this building, even before I do anything, just in case there's maybe chocolate bars or anything like that. Can't get in that building because it's all gr overgrown with rocks. Don't know, look, there's a, a box. Oh, flares and steel, or metal fragments, I should say. More bandages. Like I really needed those. I already had those. So something happened, and I wasn't able to hit that zombie at all, even though I seen it pretty much go right through him. Not cool. Come on, give me some chocolate bar or something. Nope, more metal fragments. Okay, so I need to get up here and take a look and see if I can find the road. I am right back where I was. I wonder if I can find the stuff I had. That would be awesome to, for it to still be right there. I just don't know exactly what location I was in at that time. I want to say I was coming in at about this angle here. And how far I was backing up, I don't know that either. Somebody has already been here before. What I want to find is my loot. I wasn't this far over. Backed up quite a ways back here, so I just, you know, as the server admin, I can give myself everything that I had, but I don't see that that's, like, fair to do. See anybody else that would be playing on the server that has to go around and get everything like I did starting out. So what I'm going to do is come head up this way, see if I can find a stone anywhere. There's no stones out here at all. There was before I died, why come not now? I need five stones in order to make a bow, along with wood, but wood, every tree's got wood in it. Be 
nice to accidentally find that loot box of where I was at because it had good stuff in there. What it does is it puts all of your stuff together, including what you're wearing and all that. You actually have more space when you've died. It gives puts all of your clothes in that box. Even if the your inventory was completely full, it gives all that space in that death pack, so to speak. And I'm not seeing it anywhere, so I don't, I don't even know which direction I was backing up. Because I was just backing up away from him. Trying not to get murdered. And it happened anyway. Let's see if I can get these stones over here. One more stone so I can make a hatchet at least. And it didn't do it. I really want to go out there and loot that area. But I need to have some food and weapon first. Gotta make a hatchet and hopefully find a pig somewhere in this area. And then I would be able to make the bow. Because I need five cloth in order to make a bow. And I need stones, which I don't understand why you need stones. When if you look at the arrows that you fire, there's no stones on them. They're just a sharpened stick. At least that's the appearance of them. That's just like the shotgun, the M4, and the M MP5 all look like M16s in this game. If someone is holding a stone hatchet, on your screen it looks like you're holding a stone hatchet. On their screen they're seeing you what looks like a metal hatchet. Everything just looks totally different than what you see it to someone else sees it on you. But this is in alpha. Uh, everything could change and, and they're able to get all of the visuals right. Uh, all the food that you get. Which one, there's one good thing about the fact that it's all the same. But all the food you get. Ooh, you zombie. Go the other way. Uh, everything, no matter what you kill, whether it's a deer, a boar, uh, a bear, it all says chicken breast for your food. And, you know, it's real good because that's all stackable. It doesn't take more than w one spot in your inventory. Whereas if you know, you had venison and bear meat and pork and all that. You know, each one of them will take a separate spot. Makes it real nice that it's all considered the same thing. The uh, only thing is why it's called chicken breast when I have not seen a chicken in the game yet. I will never know. Okay, first off, first things first, craft a stone hatchet. It wax faster, much faster. I haven't seen any 
pigs. I need a pig. Because I am going to die of starvation if I don't eat. I don't even have my red pills no more. I'm gonna... There was no zombies up here earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and look through the loops here again. Because they will have respawned. It doesn't take them long at all to respawn. Okay, I don't have a bolt action rifle, but there's the ammo for one. Med kit. Basically, what the way I'm headed to now is back the way I came, and I'm probably not going to worry about all that loot out there until a different day after I get things set up. How about instead of a bunch of bullets, y'all give me some food, huh? That would be nice. Okay, I just heard a chicken. Hey, look! A chicken! First chicken I have seen in the game. There's two pieces of food. Very, very nice. So I'll cook that up here in a sec after I search through this area. And we've got more bandages. That we don't really need to worry about bandages right now. But since we're in here where there's no zombies, I'm going to make me a campfire real quick. Cook up these two pieces of meat. Let's see. Open that up, put our two pieces of meat in there, and start it. Great. We've got ammo for every gun in the game, but we have no guns. Oh, wow. Two of them spawned over here this time. And that, that small stash, not worth it. More bullets for guns I don't have. Looked like there was a crate there, but I guess not. But what I'm going to do is throw that out there just so that another box may spawn. Just waiting on that meat to cook. It, since how there's only two of them, it ain't going to take long at all. They might even be done already. They are. And that's good because I'm going to eat them both. That should get me up to almost... 1500 on the food. Actually, 1700. That works. So we'll open this back up. Take what wood's in there. Because I no longer need the fire. Check if any boxes respawned yet. And they did not. And uh, let's take a look at where the road situation is. We'll check out this building. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is... Because the road's right here. Let me... Kill this pig real quick. <laughs> Give me five cloth. It did. We have five cloth so I can make bow and arrows. I'm 
not seeing a loot box here anywhere. Ah, oh, there's one. Two. Okay, so we got some gunpowder, some more bullets for a gun we don't have, but we can make it eventually. More gunpowder, nice. Okay, let me see. Crafting. Let's go to the hunting bow. I changed everything to instant craft so that it wasn't going to take a long period of time to craft them. Make as many arrows as we can. 20? Not bad. not going to worry about getting that deer right now. But I will get this one. Maybe. Missed him. He didn't run far. He's down. So I'm going to butcher this, get some stones, and then I think I'm going to go the other direction on the road, because there's way too many zombies at that other area. I want to make sure I have a little bit more firepower to take on that area. There's lots of loot there, which is good. However, getting it might take a group of people. Um, more interested in Radtown. So yeah, I'm going to go the other direction and try to find Radtown. I know there's other people on the server. I don't know exactly how many people are on the server. Let me just take a quick look here. Uh, just three of us. So, let's get the bow back up. I'm not worried about wood. Like I said, wood is everywhere. Every tree contains at least 12 wood in it that you can get. And about every 20 minutes it resets to where you can get more wood out of the same tree. Even after it says it's all out of wood. Did I head back to the same area again? I get turned around quite easily, actually. If I get killed by another zombie, I am going to be pissed. Okay, there's a black one. If I can get him to come to me... Is hit him. There he's down. Let's see what he gives me. Food. Lots of food. Red pills. Sweet. Those are going number six. That in number five. The uh, radiation level is very high here. If you get up to five hundred, it will start taking you out, so you have to be real careful of that. Okay, that's the buildings I've, I had already looted. Oh, another black zombie. I missed him. Missed him again. And it, see, there's no real easy way to aim these. kind of shoot and hope to hit him. Like that. The 
Black zombies are slow, which is a good thing because they take a lot more hits. One more should do it. Yep, he's gone. F1 grenade blueprint, so let's learn how to make that. Another red zombie out in the field. I want to stick to the roads, but I'm real worried. And my radiation level is up too high, so take a red pill. Drop that back down to 300, and I can run through here, but I'm afraid of aggroing too many zombies to be able to survive. I don't have any more red pills. And that barely takes you down. Radiation level is getting lower, so... Something tells me it's going to jump up really quickly. Actually, it just evened out. There's nothing. It's going to start going down for me. Oh yeah, this is that real high radiation area. Um, I want to... Circle around this. So here's hoping there's no zombies over in these rocks. And there's one right there. One shot. Nice. More granola bars. Sweet. I hate when you're doing something and your avatar, or whatever you want to call your character, takes a step when you didn't actually move. No arrows. Crap. Okay, he's over on the first rock I jumped up on. So let's just move across these rocks. Site blueprint. Well, first off, let's go ahead and use that bandage so we can stop bleeding. Now I can craft a hollow site for a gun I don't have. I'm not sure how long I have been recording. Oh, this is going to be... That's what I thought. I knew that was going to hurt. So I'm still going parallel with the road, which is good. It's getting dark. And I'm in a zombie area. It's 
not the best thing in the world. And dead. Alright, this is a good place to stop because that thing just pretty much snuck right up on me. Um, I'm going to keep working on this and trying to get myself to Rad Town. And uh, the next video will be from wherever I start building near Rad Town. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Go ahead and uh, like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. And uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed to the channel. I'm going to be doing more on Rust. And uh, hope you all have a wonderful day. See you on the next one.